course, up to this point in our story, I was blissfully ignorant. I had no idea of the storm that was gathering. Never even heard of Sherman McCoy. Hadn't the faintest notion that soon his name would be inexorably tied to mine. That his fate would be inextricably bound to my own destiny. I had my own problems. And I simply had no idea that Sherman McCoy was the solution I was looking for. <laughs> You're bad. Caroline, you look beautiful. Caroline, you devil. Peter, you pig. Won't you join us for a cocktail? No, thanks. I'm with someone. Yes. It's very pretty someone he is, too, eh, George? Filippo Tarazzi, the artist. This is Peter Fallow, the has-been. Oh, Chante. Filippo, we're a bit crowded this evening. Why don't you sit on top of Billy Cortez, and I'll see if I can get Caroline to sit on my face. No, thanks, Peter. The last time I sat on your face, I ended up with a yeast infection. <laughs> Good evening, Peter. Good evening, Joe. No, don't get up. You know my daughter, don't you? Yes, of course. How are you this evening, Evelyn? This is one of my invisible employees, one of the many journalists who are supposed to be writing for my newspaper. You're very honored to see him. I hardly ever do. <laughs> I can explain, I can explain. Come have a drink with us. Uh, thank you, no, we're having a private party in the back. Oh, I haven't eaten. You know, I was at dinner last evening, and halfway through the pudding, this four-year-old child came in dragging a little toy cart. Yes. And on the card was a fresh turd, her own, I suppose. And the parents just shook their heads and smiled. I've made a big investment in you, Peter. Time and money, and it's not working. Now, I could just shake my head and smile, but in my house, when a turd appears, we deal with it, we dispose of it, we flush it away. We don't put it on the table and call it caviar. Of course you don't, Gerald. I've been working at home. Now, look, I'm working on a story that I, look, I can't talk about it here, but it's a big story. Oh, I'm trying to think. I, 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 I sincerely come. hope so, Peter. Oh, it is? Yeah, I sincerely hope so. Come along, Evelyn. Right. It was the end of the road for me. I could see it coming. See it coming. Christ, it was here. Come along, Evelyn. I'd had my chance, and I'd blown it away in a bottle. It was over, and I had to face up to that fact. I could always go back home, small town, small newspaper, or I could take the time off and write a novel or two, or I could slit my wrists. Now, this last idea actually seemed the most appealing because, in fact, it required the least amount of effort. And then the telephone rang. Mm. Yeah. Peter! Albert Fox here. Peter? Peter! Hello, Peter! Yeah, yes. Yeah.